Hey peeps and geeks, welcome to the R1 Gamer. I'm Richie and we're going to be talking about what to expect from Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. This game is definitely going to be one for the fans and follows the anime series very closely so be warned. Here there be spoilers. The Ultimate Ninja Storm series began with the first game on PS3 in 2008 and with every sequel they have added to each gaming experience while retaining and improving the greatest qualities from every title. Yes, every game has added something to up the ante, all leading up to this, the next stage of the fourth Great Ninja War. Once you learn the control set, the gameplay becomes very straightforward. If you can learn how to use one character, you can use them all, and there are a lot of characters to use. Each character has their own dynamics making them better suited for close quarters, mid or long range combat. Bandai Namco Entertainment continuously bring forth characters from their previous titles. Even though the child versions of Hidden Leaf Shinobi play no integral part of the story campaign, developers keep including them, not to beef up the roster, but because it's what the players want. Come on, how can you not include young Hinata? Look how chibi she is! With over 100 characters old and new, it shouldn't be too difficult to find your favourite. There are some shinobi that are only usable in a support role, much to the dismay of some fans. Anko the Snake Ninja has quite a following and more than a few players would like to see her show off her snake strength. The Naruto chronology covers many generations and so they included Kaguya Otsutsuki, the mother of Chakra, and even a character set from The Last, Naruto the Movie. Accompanying the characters we love are the stories we love. The events of the show, beautifully rendered in three-dimensional anime cell shading, deliver all cutscenes tastefully done to reflect the emotion of the tales from the series. The story elements are further fleshed out in battle using cutscenes with interactive action sequences. Mid-battle tension runs high and the button input is fast. Even mashing the B button to the floor adds to the suspense while the action plays out on screen. You can taste victory but it can slip from your grasp as easily as pressing the wrong button. In Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, players are confirmed to play through history and experience the titanic clash of Madara vs Hashirama and the tragic tale of Obito, from childhood to ten-tailed Jinjuriki. The pretext aside, the main campaign covering the fourth Great Ninja War has enough action to keep you glued to your game seat. Every ninja has a signature jutsu, a unique fighting technique to channel their chakra. Some are more impressive than others, but all deadly with a little skill. From projectile water dragons to sexy zaniness, the tide of battle can now be turned by the nature of the fighting arena. The Rutu fans know that different jutsu are aligned with one or more five elements of nature. Therefore, fire attacks will leave burning embers on the clothes, and likewise other elements will have lasting effects. There are other dynamics to counter your assailant, such as team support, calling members of your squad to step in to block an attack or even blindside your opponent. Don't forget the ultimate jutsu, or what can only be respectfully referred to as overkill jutsu. For example, getting whipped because Obito summons the ten tails, that is harsh. Ultimate Ninja Storm goes a step further than a single fatal finisher. If you have the right members on your team, you can combine strengths and access the Team Ultimate Jutsu and really go to town on your phone. What is the plural of Jutsu anyway? Jutsus? Jutsai? Yeah. It would hardly be an anime fighting game if it didn't possess some form of transformation or power-up mode. Every character can perform a temporary awakening, unleashing their hidden potential. In Revolutions, they introduce the concept of true awakenings, which in some instances transform the character entirely, increasing their strength, making it more difficult to dodge, and applying a different deadly skill set. Those tail beast bombs are not easy to avoid. 
However, in the fourth installment, the flow of battle really intensifies. If you're wondering what could be more awesome than animated finishes, potent power boosts, and a surprising set of shinobi, well, it has to be a mixture of the three. What can be more extreme than Team Attacks, Ultimate Jutsu, or Tailed Beast Transformations? Try the Linked Awakening system. The new three-way deadlock combination has never been more deadly. For starters, the support in your three-man team takes on a more active role. For the first time, mid-combat you can switch to another shinobi in your squad to utilize the full range of your team's techniques. With the group sharing a life bar and storm gauge, you should come up with some stimulating strategies. The true awakenings have been improved to monstrous proportions, with Sasuke's Susanoo becoming more than just a candidate for head and shoulders advertising. Susanoo's everywhere now stand tall, proud and armed to the teeth. That includes Itachi and Shishui. Creator Masashi Kishimoto himself designed the perfect forms never before seen on screen. This is one of those games with increasing difficulty that you can easily lose yourself in. Packed to the brim with anime action, this game is a credit to the series indeed. Battle cinematics, manga martial arts, your will of fire will surely be tested as the climax of the ultimate ninja storm draws near. Thanks for watching the R1 Gamer! If you enjoyed this video or any part thereof, then feel free to give it a thumbs up with the button below and check out these other vids by clicking on the screens. Subscribe for more video game info and antics. If you're excited for Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 or just like Naruto in general, then leave a message in the comments below. You can even suggest other games you'd like to see on this channel. Stay magic and see you next time!